Welcome back to our RPO series, where we're going to be covering each of these RPO sequences. Today, I'm going to be covering the NMC Natural Motion Circumnav uh, to RBAR subsequence or sequence. It can be found in the RPO Specialized RBAR and VBAR uh, subfolder over here, and we're going to be covering the Natural Motion Circumnav to RBAR sequence. Um, as the name suggests, we are going to be um, stopping on the RBAR, so we have to start off in the natural motion circumnav, and we're gonna to go to the R bar. Um, you, if you aren't in that natural motion circumnav, then this sequence won't uh, execute properly. So you need to start off, make sure you're entering into that. Um, and you need to go, and we're gonna stop in the R bar. Um, it looks like from this previous run over here, this natural motion circumnav doesn't actually cross the R bar. So if we were to run this as is, um, this wouldn't execute properly. So you need to make sure that you actually hit the R bar in your natural motion circumnav. Let's go take a look at how we can get there. So we're gonna start off on the V bar right over here with an in-track offset of 150 meters. So we're right behind the target. Um, and I'm going to use another sequence of V bar to natural motion circumnav sequence to get us in the right location. Um, I've changed this cross track component to be zero. So I should indeed actually stay um, on the R bar when I actually cross it. And then taking a look at the main sequence we're covering, the natural motion circumnav to R bar. Um, it's going to ask, do you want to stop on the positive or negative R bar? Uh, in this case, it's false for the positive, which means, of course, I'm going to stop on the negative down here. And you also have to set a few other parameters, such as who am I and this RPO satellite, what engine model would you like to use, and whether you'd like to use impulsive or finite maneuvers. We're going to stick with impulsive maneuvers for today, but both work. So if I were to go ahead and run this sequence, you'll see pretty much did indeed um, start off. It kicked us off into a natural motion circumnav. That's what this sequence did. This one will continue propagating. So the natural motion circumnav will just continue propagating until that stopping condition is met. In this case, it was the negative R bar. And then once it hit it, it's going to stop there. Um, if I had changed this to be positive or the, pos the plus to be true in a rerun, it will stop up here on the positive R bar. Um, so one thing to keep in note is even though you stop on the positive R bar, doesn't mean um, that's a stable location. So it's going to stop there. And if you don't do something, you immediately start to either drift away. Um, this so that that's what will happen. Or you need to enter into another sequence, such as an R bar hop, maybe an R bar approach or R bar, and then you're going to transition to a different type of sequence, or you're just going to hold that point. Um, so that's just one thing to note. It's just going to stop you on the R bar. Um, but if you don't do something afterwards, you will start to drift. So that's going to be it for the natural motion um, circumnav to R bar sequence.